All right, YouTube, this is the video that you guys requested. How to extend your stock shifter from being down low to being however high you want to make it. Today we're going to show you with Trucker Darren. He's going to be the one doing all the work while I hold the camera and film. Because he's lazy. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some air line, 530 seconds, uh, with tubing. You can get it from any chrome shop, any TA shop, Petro shop, but they should have it. Um, you're gonna want, depending on what your shifter extension is, if it's a one foot extension, you're gonna want about five to six foot air line just to cover. It's cheap, just get as much as you can so that way you don't you're not running out. <clears throat> if you have a international, uh, especially a Lone Star, I don't know about the Pro Stars, you're going to need extra tubing because there's a fifth airline in the shifter. Most truck, there's only four. Now next, here's a little trick I found on another truck of mine. Now these little connectors, they're about 10 bucks a piece. But the uh, 530 second connector airlines, and that just helps you connect these to the stock airlines. Now, there's a trick I found on some trucks. If you pull this cover off right here, pull the cover off, pull the boot up, some trucks actually have connectors already below the floor, and all you gotta do is buy the airline, you do not have to buy the connectors. But being we already have it for John's truck, we're just gonna go that route. Because it is a lot of work to pull all that crap up. Next, you're just going to want your medium blue Loctite. You're going to want a pretty good set of small hex bits, flathead screwdriver, this big old fracking wrench, <laughs> electrical tape, or zip ties, whichever you prefer. Or zip ties. I think the electrical tape's cleaner. Of course, the big part, your shifter extension. Now, these come in six inches 12 inches 18 inches or custom custom you're gonna have to go to a custom chrome shop like four states or the uh, texas chrome shop to get a custom shifter extension now on your shifter you should already have one of these but these do come with every shifter they should if your shifter does not come with one it's missing it should be the bolt that helps you lock in where your shifter actually sits then of course, last but not least, is your shifter. Now this is an older style, they just come out with some newer styles. But they have this little tube here, there are now threaded shifters, and there's a whole bunch of different types. You just gotta go with what you like. These adapter pieces here, if it doesn't come with a shifter, these by themselves are normally 75 to 150 bucks. They're not cheap. Then your shifter, you can get a shifter anywhere from five dollars to two to three hundred dollars lit up different shapes whatever we have the pistol handle here so that's going to be your basic stuff of what you need next we're going to show you what to do all right guys so next thing is you're going to have your stock shifter and you're going to have this bolt right here sometimes you have one on the front it depends on your truck now for this truck you might be a little different this is a t20 uh, hex bit Torx Torx whatever hex Torx I always call them hexes But You're gonna remove this one if you're hearing the air just ignore that we just kind of Quickly put this back together just to show you how to tear it apart Yeah, so I think one of the airlines is connected So you're gonna pop this off And this just slides down you got that rubber band thing. Yeah and then you got your shifter. Now, like I said, the one you might have a bolt here, which stops your shifter from doing this. Like I said, we were extended, so we dropped it down to show you guys this, and so not everything's connected. 
Now here's where it gets loud. You can drain your air, but right now we're charging up our battery, so we're gonna let the truck run. So, pretty much right here on the bottom, there's these little silver pieces on the bottom of the shifter. You're gonna wanna lift up with your fingernail. And, cause like I can, well that one's not gonna pull back down, but pretty much you wanna press up on these and pull the airline out. Do this one. Focusing. We'll All come right. back out. So, this is where it gets loud. Basically, just to show exactly what he's doing. All right, so with this piece here, all he's doing is pushing in this little piece right here on either side. Well, this one doesn't really want to push in because there's no air in it right now. But you press this in and pull your airline out. We went ahead and shut off the truck. He's trying to drain all the air out now so we can kill the air sound. Pull your smoke back. <laughs> yeah, you see it in the screen. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Alright, so now we got the airlines disconnected. And once you uh, loosen up the shifter, which can be a pain, um, normally you can take like a wrench and get it right about here and twist it off. Be careful, you don't want to break these. This piece is not cheap. twist off is the shifter now next thing you will need is the flathead screwdriver top your shifter pretty much like this it's gonna shove a flathead right here in the top peel this back boom next same bit that you use to get the bolt off the back should be the same there's two screws in here let me zoom in one there, there's one down here. Good. So you're just gonna remove these. Now here's where you gotta be careful. Flash a warning screen on the, warning sign on the screen. <laughs> now what you're gonna want to do is have a nice grip on the whole shifter when you pull this last bolt out. Because you do not want this coming apart. Of course, the screw will not come out. Alright. Now, the reason you do not want this to come apart, and when you pull this off, make sure this piece, if you have a 13, 15, or 18 speed, make sure this does not move. Reason is, underneath this end here there's two small springs and underneath another part of here is a little ball bearing it's literally just a little ball greased up and it helps the shifter move and stay in place so you're going to take your new shifter adapter whichever piece it is and just gently drop this over And work it down onto the shifter. And again, get another nice good grip on it. Now, if you got a 10 speed or a 9 speed, whatever, you're not gonna have this shift this piece, you can just pull the shifter right off. There's nothing under there you gotta worry about. It's only with the 13, 15s, and 18 speeds. Replace your bolts. Now what I do is I tighten both of them, but not all the way. Just get them both kind of a tight. And then go ahead and tighten the other ones the rest of the way. Now 
then you got that far then take the other piece which will be pretty much the shiny chrome top Now, being that we've used, this one's been used for a while. This was in my Lone Star before I gave it to John. The edges on this side are already uh, bent in a bit, so it's a little harder to get on. But, just snaps right on. If you are brand new, if you have this style, it should just slide right on. And there's a screw that goes into the top. When you buy your shifter, make sure the screw is there. Need a little bit for that one. And that way everything's nice and tight. All right. So, next comes the fun part. Still got some air coming out, but... We had to start up the truck to get cooled back down. Yeah, we're in Texas right now, so it's a little hot. Alright, so next, you're going to get your shifter extension, your blue Loctite. If it's brand new or whatever, every time you use Loctite, you should shake it up really good. And you don't want to put a lot, but... Put a little bit in there. Cab that so it doesn't spill. And now just thread on your shifter extension. Now, all the stickiness on it from the electrical tape. Now they make these in chrome, black, and now they have skulls. So whatever your preference is. To me, more, unless you get in this part replacing the whole shifter, the black looks better because at least it blends in. The chrome just looks weird. Just sitting there. All are nice and tight. And next, you're going to get your bolt. Your nut. Nut, bolt, whatever. <laughs> Jeez, alright Captain Obvious. And you don't really need Loctite for this one. But it could help. But what I do, put it on all the way. Here, take your shifter. Thread it down. Now you'll see, first probably, your shifter's going to be way crooked. All you got to do, pull your shifter back. Get to a good sitting spot where you like to sit. Get your shifter set pretty much straight, but you do want it to be comfortable. Now, like on this shifter, you can set the top wherever you want, but you're going to want to know where your buttons are and just get it kind of set. Kick it a little to the side and then thread the bolt up. And what you're going to end up doing is tightening this bolt and the shifter together. That way they lock each other in. Now, do you lock tight those? You can if you want, but again, not a lot. You don't want to soak the thing in Loctite. So, and I've found over the years, because I've done this on most of my trucks, that they will come loose and they will rattle. And that's why I like my Loctite. But again, you only want to put about a drop on it. You don't want to put a ton of it on, because if you got to take it off, then it's really a pain to come off. And a little Loctite does a lot of good. Do not use red Loctite. You'll never get your shifter apart ever again. Just use a blue medium Loctite. I'll go ahead and thread this right back on. Twist that. Twist the nut. And this is where your big old wrenchy thing comes in. So... Right now, the shifter is actually sitting off more of an angle. 
So now that the bolt's up, just lock this on. I think it needs grease. And remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You're going to want a firm grip on your shifter, too. And then, you don't want to put a ton of force on it or you'll never get the main thing off. I have actually locked this bolt onto the shifter because I tighten it so much. Don't need to do that. <laughs> so now, shifter's in there. And once the Loctite settles, it'll all pretty much lock in. If you put a lot of twisting force on your shifter, of course, most likely this is where it's going to, down here at the bottom of the extension, it's where it's going to loosen. Like right now, if I twist to this, the shifter extension is going to loosen, not the shifter. All right, so now you got the shifter extension on, you got the shifter, top, everything's ready to go. Next thing, now if you're doing it this way, you're going to get your little connectors. And if you look into them, it's probably going to be hard to focus. There's a little metal piece in here. Kind of want to get your airline and just push it in and pull. Should be stuck in there. And then just pick a color. And do the same thing. Just push it on. Pull. It's in. Good to go. Now your shifter will actually have labels of where your colored airlines go. The so blue... You know, black, red, green, whatever, Lone Stars, at least on mine, had a brown ho hose. Now it's the fifth hose. So, next pretty much is just the connections. And up here is the exact same as down here. You just push them in, pull, and it's locked in. If it's not in all the way and doesn't lock, it will slip right back out. Go ahead and do the rest of them. There you go. Now you want to fire up the truck also, that way you can check for air leaks once it airs it back out. Yep, yeah, if you drain all your air out, turn your truck on once you get everything connected, let your air pressure build up, and make sure there's nothing leaking. Which we'll be back as soon as that's done. All right, so all the airlines are connected. We got no leaks. And we're gonna take our electrical tape. There's multiple ways to do this. You can do just zip ties. If you got multiples of these little rubber bands, you can use those. But you can push this down. Electrical tape, or I still recommend using electrical tape, at least to tape down these connectors so they don't beat against your shifter. But they do have leather boot covers but normally with like this extension, they only come up to about here. They do have a couple extras that come up pretty close to the bottom of your shifter, but you know, normally you probably want those custom made if you're gonna go that route. Here, we're just gonna use electrical tape. All right, what I like to do is start down here, like these, they got a little angle here, just kind of start down here. Wrap once covering where you already where you started your tape and then just slowly start to angle up. Each time just covering up the last tape so it doesn't come loose. Then when you get to where your air, these connectors are, just kind of start more overlapping just slowly lap over to 
the connectors at the bottom. That way the tape covers up everything. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Okay, what he forgot to do is put that chrome boot up over the uh, connectors. So we just had to untape it, undo the connectors, pull the boot all, you know, the little plastic cover all the way up, reconnect the airlines, and now continue to tape it together. Because this boot here has a curved edge just to fit your airlines in, it will not fit over these. Now sometimes if you got the one that doesn't have the curved edge, it might fit over these, but it probably won't. So let's get back to tape. Okay, and the battery died, so while I replaced the battery, he finished taping it up, as you can tell. So, get all the fur off here, because Leia's fur is all stuck to the electrical tape. So here's what I did. I stopped about an inch below the base. Cut it, smoothed it out, so I can do this. You ever seen furry electrical tape? You now, to me, this just gives it a cleaner look to go kind of up under. And stop right about there. Now, real quick, again, your shifter probably has two screws, one on each side here. Now, with the chrome shifter bottom, you only use one screw. So I put the one here in the rear, just that way we have it if we ever go back to stock or anything like that. And you slide your shifter, and you'll notice that it's got the slot here for your front splitter. Slide that. Oh, get your little screw. So. Get the screw in there, thread it on. Now the problem with these plastic pieces is the way they're made, sometimes the shifters are a little smaller. So you're actually going to have to put some pressure on the front. You don't want to put a ton of it and crack the piece, but just enough you'll start to see it bow in. And kind of go to where it's almost hard to tighten by hand. That piece is on there. And then we get to the last little thing, which is putting on your actual shifter. Now on this shifter, for instance, you have these little threaded screws. Now these I definitely like to put some Loctite on, which I forgot. Because this is mainly where your shifter is going to actually loosen up. Probably better do it on here so you can actually see how much you know that way like if you shoot in a hole you may shoot a crap load I wipe off the axis and then go ahead and thread it right back on now like this shifter for instance you got one on each side Do 
a little drop. then pretty much last bit put your shifter on you're done well, I guess we should tighten it first now you can see like this shifter you can put it wherever I mean if you really want to drive like that you're weird but whatever so get up and kind of figure out where you want it and then hold it down just tighten up your bolts One foot extended shifter, completely wrapped, airlines extended, shifters on, splitters work, everything's tightened. Of course, the last piece of anything is to clean up all your chrome, smooth it out, polish it, clean it up, make it look pretty, and you're good to go. So, hope that helps, guys. And that's pretty much a basic shifter extension and in the end you should have no problem doing it on your own as long as you got the parts the tools and everything and full time it's maybe a 15 to 20 minute job if that so and if you're wondering i know a lot of guys say that uh it's dumb to do a shifter extension it makes no sense you just you're compensating for uh small things in the end, every driver I've ever talked to that's actually done it likes it better because it shifts easier, it's easier on your shoulder. When I had my shifter down low, I started getting shoulder pains after a while. Was it up high? Never had an issue. Truck shifts easier. And in the end, I don't care. It looks cool. Now, you may want to go up to the ceiling that's up to you me that makes no sense but a nice one foot i think that's where it looks good so that's gonna be it for me i'll leave it to john hope you liked the video hit the like button subscribe and if there's anything else you guys want to see how to do again with our truck right now not much we can do but when we get our own trucks we'll be able to do all types of videos so that's going to be it for me, guys. So, later. All right. So, hopefully you guys liked that video. Hopefully you were able to uh, figure out exactly what you need to do. Drop your comments or questions or concerns in the box below. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this or even more future videos. Like the trucker Darren on on Instagram at the Real Trucker Darren. I'm the Real Trucker John. You can find all that information down in the description box below. That's all we got for this video. We're about to go pick up a load. Have a good one. Keep that shiny side up, and make that money. <laughs>